The snow is still falling, the wind is still blowing, but RSL with three second half goals takes the full three points and blanks the Vancouver Whitecaps 3-0. We're joined now by head coach Mike Petke, whose debut was successful and absolutely and completely unforgettable. Well, don't you two look warm. I just got a glimpse of you up in the box. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> hey, the sweater looks dry, though. I saw that leather jacket well, I have down to, I have to protect that first and foremost, so the jacket went right on. Hey, Mike, uh, let's talk about this in, in two forms. One, let's talk about the, the first 45 minutes and yeah. what you saw uh, from your perspective. Uh, first 45 minutes were obviously about the tactics before the snow really came. So uh, I thought our pressure was very good in their half. They they really adapted to what we were working on throughout the week. Our outside backs getting a bit higher, uh, not so we're not pulling our wide uh, midfielders back too deep. Uh, and we got six, seven great chances out of it. Uh, you know, we didn't put them away in the first half, but we knew it was coming. And then the second half was, was about hard. That's it. <laughs> That's it. I mean, could really, did my debut really? Yeah. Snowstorm? Yep, snowstorm. Great. Welcome to Utah, by yeah. the way. This is spring <laughs> in Utah. Uh, hey, man, uh, in, in terms of heart, uh, in terms of grit, determination, this locker room, uh, you've been around this group since the start of preseason, uh, but you've been able to kind of stamp kind of your fingerprints, your your identity, uh, just in a short amount of time that you've had it. In terms of what this locker room has, I mean, listen, people look at it and say, the start of this season, not good enough. They didn't see anything to make them, uh, give them any opportunity to, to, to be excited about this team. What they saw tonight, a, a completely different group. Um, what does it say about what you see in terms of, of this camaraderie, this roster, this locker room? Well, listen, I mean, I've said, I've said it a couple of times. If we, we won 3 nothing tonight. Was it 3 nothing? 3 nothing tonight. <laughs> uh, if we would have lost 3 nothing, it, it would have meant the same thing. It's just one game. Yeah. You know, this does not mean that we're going to go and win 3 nothing next week and we're going to go on a roll. Hopefully it does, but it's building blocks. And, you know, talk about heart. I mean, you know, you guys like Kyle Beckerman leading, leading the charge out there. You know, you're getting on the score sheet tonight and the work he's put in. They all have heart. You know, they just have to want to bring it out and they want that desire. But I liked, I liked from, from a starting point what we saw tonight from both a tactical standpoint and like we're talking about a heart standpoint. I know you don't want to give away too much. Colorado might be watching. You got to go play them next week. But you, you had a, a quote in the, uh, before the game in the run-up to this where you said if we win 10 nothing, if we lose 10 nothing, it doesn't matter. It's a process. Yep. What did you see positive that you want to reinforce? What did you see maybe that you'd like to tweak, you know, without giving away the farm? Well, listen, uh, you know, I'm, I was getting carried away in the, in the second half, you know, because we weren't possessing the ball. But, I mean, <laughs> I, mean uh, I'm, I get crazy sometimes. But the first half, uh, I don't want to give, obviously, I never want to give anything away. But, you know, in one week, just talking about how we want to defend higher up the field, talking about what we wanted from our two and three, our wide guys in the back and wide guys in the midfield, and to see that, for the most part, uh, it was put into play tonight, even when it didn't work at times, that they were adapting to it and they were trying to put him to play. I mean, that, that, to me, that, that, that's awesome. That's what you want to see as a coach. You want to see the things that you're doing throughout the week. Players are listening and they're trying to do on the field. So we're going to continue pushing it like that and go to Colorado next week, and, and it could be a whole new game plan. I don't know. But for now, uh, this, is, this is how I want him to play. Well, congratulations on winning the uh, debut, and congratulations on surviving a, uh, a rare blizzard <laughs> <laughs> during and, an RSL game. And keeping right. that sweater dry. Good-looking sweater, well, Mike Pecky. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. All right, Mike Pecky, head coach of RSL, picking up the full three points, getting out of the cellar in the Western Conference. Yep, they That's had to bring what it out looked the like. Orange Bowl. Look, at, look at that little, look at that dusting right there. I know. It, it started out fine, and then it got really ugly. All right, more on the post-game show. Highlights. The stats, Ramondo with a takedown.